Okay, in the last video I showed you how the bearing worked on this shaft and this motor. And I thought I'd go a little bit farther here. What is, let's look at what is going to happen if the bushings fail. Now, a bushing failing could certainly be locked up. You know, a lack of lubrication, it'll lock up, score the shaft, and so on. But oftentimes what happens is the bearing just becomes loose. Okay, if it becomes loose, what's going to be the result? Okay, looking into this, uh, and we've only got one bearing here, but the bearing does, you know, we need the other bearing in this to make sure it's right, but it does rotate okay. What I want you to look close at, and I'll get closer on this thing, is the gap between the rotor, that's this part here, and the stator here. Okay, I want you to look at that gap. See that tiny little gap up there? And that's actually not even the, the gap is about half that much, but uh, because I don't have a second bearing on here. See how close the magnet on the stator is to the rotor. Okay, the closer the magnet is, the more efficient the motor. Because if, as you gain distance, air distance, between the two magnets, uh, the magnetism tapers off. So they get that as close as possible. What usually happens with these motors is the bearing will wear and then there will be excessive clearance in the bearing. That means this thing here is going to flop around like that. And it's going to interfere between the rotor and the stator. In other words, the rotor is going to drag on the stator. Once it drags on the stator, uh, the motor's toast. You're not going to be able to do anything about it. Uh, boy, if you're, if you're thinking about it, you can replace bearings in these things, but good luck at finding them. Good luck at getting something that makes any sense. We throw the motors away. They're, unless there's some kind of special type motor that has a special application you can't get anymore, we don't do any repairs in these motors. But that's what happens to these things most commonly when they have a bushing. If that bushing wears out from lack of oil, dirt gets in there, whatever it is, then uh, that stator and the uh, rotor are going to interfere with each other and that drag is just going to stop the motor. Even if you get the motor running, it really doesn't make much difference because it's just going to get worse and uh, eventually it'll just fail completely. And here's what a uh, rotor looks like when it's been dragging against a stator. You can see that one part, probably the bearing that you see on that end bell is what's causing that. That bearing has got too much clearance in it, so it just simply drags on the, uh, on the stator and the motor will just stop. So if you feel a drag, on the, mo on the uh, shaft as you rotate it, if you can hear it rub, you've got a problem. The other way you can check these things is, I'll have to see if I can find one that's got some really bad bearings in it, and we will go over how to wiggle that shaft, move it around, it shouldn't clunk. And I've talked about this before, but I'm going to get a little more specific on it. Uh, so the bushings, what they do, if they do wear out, usually that rotor will drag on the stator and that pretty much finishes uh, the bearings and likewise the motor. 